The TS Faith 13 pistol. Interesting little handgun I just recently picked up. Comes in this nice case by Zenith Firearms. Uh, another gun made in Turkey. So let's open her up and see what we got. Alright, it comes with a plastic case and accessories in it. And this red cloth for whatever purpose that is. But you get the handgun, three magazines, I believe they're 12 rounders, and one in the chamber it means it holds 13. Or they may hold 13 rounds, I'm not sure. Uh, you get some cleaning accessories, a cable lock, the manual, and uh, that's basically how she comes. And what this is, is this is kind of a clone or a knockoff of the Beretta Model 84. The Beretta's got an 83, 84. Uh, the 84 is the one with the uh, 13 round capacity, like this pistol. And the others, I think, are 7 and 8 round capacities, depending on the gun or the model. But that's what it comes with. You get two brushes, kind of a brass one and this nylon one, a little plastic cleaning rod, which really ain't worth much. I tried using it, a bottle of oil, the magazines, and the pistol itself. Right here. All right, so now we'll take a closer look at the pistol. All right, we'll start on this side of the pistol. We have thumb safety up here, which is ambidextrous on the other side. So right or left hand. You have the slide release, magazine release button here. Magazine comes out. It has uh, sights, which are just two dots. One at the bottom, one over there, which is they're easy to pick up. This is your takedown lever and your thumb safety on the other side. This pistol is a double action, single action handgun. Double and single action. Okay, there is no decocker on this. So, if you put one in a chamber, you have to take it down to a half notch. Uh, position on the hammer. The instruction manual tells you how to do that. So you can carry one with a round in the chamber. Basically you'd have to lower it till you hear that first click and then it's setting off the firing pin itself and then that's how you carry one in the chamber with it. It's a nice little gun, fits in the hand very well, and like I said, with three magazines, the case, and all the accessories for a gun around 400 bucks as compared to 750, it's not a bad deal. Granted, it is not a Beretta, okay? Beretta is top of the line quality wise. I mean, you can't beat them. I've had friends that own the different Beretta pistols like the Bobcat and 22 Short. Uh, the Tomcat 32, and I've gotten to shoot them all, and they're all high quality uh, guns. This gun does not have a tip up barrel on it. I don't know if the Cheetah does or not. Uh, so it's quite similar though, with the open barrel on the top, and it's pretty easy to field strip. You notice there's a button here. To field strip this, you have to depress this button in on this side and then rotate this down so it's like one thing and the other uh, so on the left side of the gun you would depress this and I'll show you how when I get the camera up on there how to field strip it's pretty simple okay like I explained pressing in on that pin or button on the other side, you rotate this down. And then your slide will just come right off. 
And then you have your recoil spring locked underneath here. You just kind of depress it, get it loose, the guide rod and the spring, and then you pull the barrel out like this. And that's it. Slide and your frame. You know, it is an alloy metal frame. This is not a polymer gun. Pretty easy to clean. And we'll go and reassemble it. Put your barrel back in. And I guess the key is to make sure that this is locked into the slide. Press our spring back in there, just like that. Then we just line it up. Damn hand shakes a little too much. Okay. Push it back and get a little bit of tension on it. This is the tricky part for me. You have to depress that pin again on the other side and then rotate the lever back to lock the barrel down in. There we go. Just like that. So you just flip that back and again it's control with this pin here frees that lever. Oh. A little stiff. Now this pistol, I just picked it up the other day, and we got out today, I had to go with a friend uh, who was getting ready for his concealed carry class, and I went through some uh, handgun training with him, and I just took this out and put 50 rounds through it, that's all. It was cold today, the weather was kind of bad. I didn't have the camera out there, but this gun fits in the hand really well, okay, and I mean... Uh, I was using PPU, 380 ammo, extremely accurate, a pleasure to shoot. This is a neat gun. I mean, uh, I had another guy look at it, he liked it. Um, I shot it, I shot one box of shells out of it. I mean, the accuracy was there, 100% functioning, not a hitch in it. I didn't expect it. And uh, it's nice to hit these high capacity magazines other than uh, like a seven or eight round mag. <clears throat> we'll go out and make a video shooting this. Uh, like I said, this is really a nice gun. Well worth the money. You know, we'll get, it's your slide release here. And even though it's in 380, I know a lot of people like 40s, 45s, and that. It's a medium-sized gun, so it's easy to control. It's not got a powerful cartridge in it. It's kind of a falls in between. Most people like compact nines or 40s and that. And this is a little bit bigger, you know, gun than like the slim or whatever them compact nines. And it doesn't have the power of the nine millimeter. But, you know, when you have magazine capacity, accuracy, comfort to shoot, uh, really nice gun. I even went and popped a couple uh, rounds off on steel plates. So, it's another interesting, you know, it's an interesting pistol. Uh, it's something maybe you'd look into if you like uh, this type of gun. It might not be for everybody. But, like I said, compared to the 700 and some odd dollar price tag of the Beretta, uh, this ain't a bad buy. And the Turkish guns, quality's there. I don't know if this has uh, got that Cerakote finish on it. I believe it does. And that's about it. We're going to take her out. We'll put some rounds through it. And see how it goes but if you got a chance to pick one of these up uh, 
you know, and that's the type of gun you want, mid-size with a halfway decent caliber, uh, I'd look into it.